Hey, me always there. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Greg here again. Sorry, I've got a bit of a chest infection and a bit of a, 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 a dry, dry mouth and cough. But this is the uh, Mini Art T55 Soviet medium tank, and I picked this up on Fog Models for the pricely sum of £12. Yeah, £12. Couldn't believe it. I thought it was an error, so I ordered it and it came. And luckily, well, unlucky for some for other people, it was the only one they had in stock. So for uh, twelve pounds, obviously you pay you pay two ninety five for your postage, which I and I had a pound I could take off with my points that I've collected. So I kept the thirteen ninety five, I think something like that, for a, for a, a reasonably new kit. And I say the box is quite chunky. I say I haven't even opened it yet. Still got the uh, the cellophane around it yet. So. We shall uh, have a look at the, uh, what we've got here first. We've got the T55 Soviet medium tank. It's a mini art and it's 135 scale as normal. Nice box work again. Typical mini art box work. Um, it, it says it's uh, un obviously unassembled. The box contains a model of a tank. This is not a toy. 881 total. T total. Details. 710 plastic parts. 26 clear parts and 145 PE parts so there's quite a lot in the box the uh, the end is just the same as that's on the set on the front but the kit number is we can't quite see that can we oh, yeah. let's just bring it. Let's bring it. where's my knife I'll take this off while I'm here I'll take the cellophane off just to start with and we can uh, really say that I can pop that on there for now. Out of the way. Right. Yeah, so we'll get back to the, uh, what we're doing. And the kit number is 37027. I think you can get these on eBay. I think around about £30, £35, something like that. So we can see what kind of deal I got that. There must have been a either an error or something because we wouldn't let it go for 12 quid but so it's so I snapped it up so on the side we just have the usual sort of uh, it's in uh, Ukrainian, Russian and English and do's and don'ts and the only babies anywhere near the small parts and it's 14 plus to build it so I'm alright I think I'm just past 14 and on the other side which I never really noticed until just now are all the variations and variants that you can build all the markings so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten versions you can make. So we're not short of uh, things to do on this one. I haven't quite decided yet what I want to do because that's the first time I've had a look at it. Um, I'll have a look when we get farther into the build. So let's have a look. Without further ado, let's open the box. So it's my first time in the box as well. So let's see what we have. Let's put that out there. And as you can see, it's rammed full of plastic as well, and it's nicely packed. So, in there. So, let's have this with this uh, large bag here to start with. Let's pop that over there. Right. That's only problem with some mini art stuff is that you only bag them in large bags, and you have to hunt for them. The parts. So, we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven so far. I can't come across those. So look at these ones first. The wheels and the wheels, and uh, yeah, very nice. Flash free. Nice small um, attachment points. The wheels are really nice. You'll have to excuse me. <coughs> I was bunged. I get uh, bunged up a bit. I sound a bit funny, but yeah, the detail that's really nice. So there's 14 wheels that I say. So that's seven each side. Is that correct? I have to find now, won't we? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven lap. Put that over there for now. 
and then we have the tracks which are uh, individual linked as most of them are with mini I ah, found the other track of the other uh, the other wheel that's so about eight each side of course seven times at odd number right so have a look at these tracks on the first glance they really look nice and they've actually got the cast markings on the tracks themselves if you can quite might be able to pick them up if I uh, bring us light a little bit into there you see the small lettering It'll pick it up and always go a bit closer. There we are. On there, on the rear. It's clean as a whistle. No injection marks. Four sprue, uh, sorry, four attachment points. So a bit of wear take them all off, but no more than anything normal. We still have to put individual guide horns on, which is good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, hundreds of them. More wheels as well, there's ten screws of wheels now. Um, right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with ten, ten bags of tracks. I'll put that over there. Ten sprues of tracks, sorry. Right, let's go from here now. Let's put all these other ones individually marked where they all go to. And then we can uh, we can start on it. Right, so we have uh, this sprue here with the uh, with the sprocket, there again, really nicely detailed, and I'm glad they haven't gone onto the actual uh, tooth at the top of the one in the centre, which is uh, a lot, lot easier. Because you seem to, no matter what you do, you lose one of the one of the teeth at the top. So that's good. Nice detail. There's a little bit of flash there. But that's on the inside, a quick rubber arm with a in fact it's almost gone now. It's nothing nothing to worry about. And that's the inside of the uh, the return row, the return idler. So that's two of those, there's two sprues like that. Let's just put all these sprues out the way. And we have one, two, we have one of these sprues, I don't know what these small points are, something to do with the running gear obviously, there's the um, suspension arms, there again nicely detailed, a few small, they look like, like the links on the track door on the outside, I'm not too sure, <coughs> oh excuse me, sorry, I've only found one of them so far, and then we have, uh, I don't know, started, there's actually one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's four like that, big, big, uh, big my apologies there. We're so having too many screws in one bag and then we seem to have three of these, which again is the uh, more suspension arms, they're nicely detailed again, nothing really much else to say, they're in two parts, which is unusual, but uh, can be a problem. I'm sure we'll come across some more of those as we go on through the uh, the sprues, and then we have one, two, three so far of the uh, of this sprue, which we have the uh, field runs or four, yeah field runs, and there's a shovel there, so small little bits and pieces. I'm unsure what the little tiny details are, but I'm sure I'll find out. And there again, some other. This is that I'm hundred percent sure what they are. I'm sure somebody will let me know. There again. Nicely moulded. No flash on this side. The shovel's just slightly bent, but that's no problem. We'll soon straighten that out. 
and the sink marks or injection marks are uh, where they should be out of sight so there's one two three of those All right so let me just move these out of, <coughs> these big bags out of the way just for now I'll try them up later and then we'll go to the next the next big bag I seem to have a lot of the uh, upper turret, the turret and things. So let's just take them all out. We'll have to try and fit them all back in, which is virtually impossibility at times. Once they're out, that's it. So we'll start from the top. Where we have the uh, the PE. I like the way Mini Ad does this. It's quite nice to have the PE uh, separated. And as you can see, there's quite a fair bit of PE there. And it's got this nice plastic protection on the front, so when you cut it, it doesn't on ping everywhere. So we've got uh, obviously grill covers, engine covers, a lot of straps. Uh, unsure what the rest are, but I say there's quite a lot there. Let's just put this light, bring it this light away. There we go. There's quite a lot of PE in there. That glare off them. But I do like the way the uh, the do do that mini art. That's quite a good uh, good idea. That Just keeps them uh, tidy. And then we have the decals, which I surprised is more there would be more decals. I'm not going to get them out of the bag. We have uh, mini art's own decals. I've never had a problem with any mini art ones I've done. Lettering, obviously, and a few of the bits and pieces there. And the clear parts, I won't take out of the bag. We've got uh, periscopes, um, we've got headlights, um, other bits and pieces. I'm not sure, 100% sure what they are, but they look nicely moulded, nice and clear. So we'll keep them in there. Right, and then we fire off one of the big sprues now. We start off with the upper turret. As you can see, it's nicely, really nicely moulded. And it's got that lovely texture, cast texture all the way around there. That's really, really nice. Really is nice all the way around. All right, and then we have uh, that looks like part from the canvas for the gun barrel, which is in three parts. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, lose them, lose the joining mark on that. There's a bit of the gun mantlet on the front, and maybe uh, commander's cupola or some kind of cupola hatch. Um, no injection marks on the bottom of it. I think that could be one. I'm not sure. I'll have to check what that part is. is. That a part of the kit, or is that where the uh, it was moulded? And then we have the uh, top of the turret again, part of the turret again, which is nicely moulded again. Nice detail. And you've got that uh, rough texture on it as well. We have a couple of other bits and pieces. I'm not too sure what that is. Probably cleaning rods. Slide mouldy, so it might be part of the barrel. 100% sure, but I have a, I think I have a uh, metal barrel. But I'm not too sure. We'll see when we get through it all. So there's one of those. Obviously, one sprue like that. And then we have another sprue like this, which is uh, a lot of the <coughs> boxes on the outside. More fuel drums, ends of the uh, ammunition boxes. One would presume, or where the like the uh, the crew kept their personal possessions as well. Really nicely detailed. No injection marks again. Where you where where we're going to see them? They're all hidden away. So that's a nice one again. There's a slight sheen on that plastic there. But I'm um, sure the paint will cover when we undercoat it, it'll uh, cover them bits up. No, well, they are, but uh, not to worry, I wouldn't have thought. Oh, excuse me. Oh, dear me. Right, and then we have the uh, more of the turret. We have the obviously the turret uh, bottom, and we have the turret ring, which is nicely moulded. You've got the teeth. You can quite see that. Teeth on certain parts of it. 
but we have to be careful when we are cutting that out and then we have the bottom of the turret and there's the canvas it just doesn't look too bad and then we have a nice oh that's lovely that, that really looks nice much part of the engine hatch at the back that's really nice, I do like that and that could be the rear and then we have the bottom of the uh, the turret and then we uh, start off with the looks like the sides the sides of the tank again so it's not it's not a bathtub and we've got that strange marking on the plastic again but as I say once it's uh, primed you won't see any of that but nice very nice again and we have a lot of small sprues here again so we'll take these two because they look like the same we have the fuel drums for the rear, which are two part, but I'm sure we'll sort that. But nice detail on the uh, on the clasps. Obviously, there's the ends. We have some small other bits and pieces, and then we have the uh, uh, the grappling things for the uh, tow hooks to go onto. Hooks, grappling hooks, not all grappling hooks, but the hooks to go onto there. Other small bits and pieces, a little bit of flash, but not masses. In fact, I don't know if it's flash or not. No, it isn't. So we have two of those. Get all these little bits out the way. And let's just take all these little teeny weeny bits. We'll go through them individually. So we have lots and lots of small bits again. Unsure what all them are, but they're nicely, uh, nicely moulded again. And lots and lots of sprues. And again, I think that's the same one. Yep. And these ones are the same, so I'll show you one. And these look like more boxes. Again, we have more boxes. And then, we've got that one, I've seen that one, we've seen that one. And we still have more fuel drums, so obviously there's some of the fuel drums that probably won't be used in here, but they're nice. So, it's only meant about the little mark on the plastic. But... Uh, I'm sure that won't, mind, won't, won't be a problem. If they're in two parts, or just go directly to the hull, I've got a funny fear that it could be two parts. So there's one, two, three of those so far. And then we have some small, more small parts, a lot of small parts on this build. Again, I think that some of these are for the turret, for the ring, for the gun, if I'm not mistaken. Some really finely moulded parts there and no flash again. And then we have another um, sprocket and some more running gear on this on this sprue. Which again is really really nice. The detail is quite is quite nice as well. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought they'd be uh, put them in separate bags. What was in the other one of this was in here, but when we get to the instructions we'll see, but there again they're all nicely moulded and there's no flash and there's no ugly uh, sink marks where they shouldn't be again but it's quite unusual to have the uh, suspension arms in two pieces, there must be a reason for it there must be a reason for it so we have two of those, so although maybe the other sprocket might not be needed so there could be a few pairs in here and we have, uh, I've just cut that, with, uh, that's a bit of fine stuff on there must have been covering those What's this here? It's like a hair or something. I don't know what it is. Weird. I think it's just a part of the plastic. There, yeah, it just pops off. And we have a lot of small parts here again. There's a little bit of flash on that handle there. You can see where my fingers are. Just on that side there. Lots and lots of small parts, and I can't believe how many small parts there is. And grab handles, and I don't know what these ones are. Unusual shapes, but I'm sure we'll find out. We'll see the basket at the back. I'm sure. So that's another sprue. We have the engine cover at the back there, which is nicely detailed again. Obviously, you'll have the uh, photo wedge underneath that as well, I would presume. So it's another sprue. Set the sprues done. So as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of plastic. 
Bring that back down to the last bag now. <coughs> Crack on, as I say. All right, all right. That looks interesting. That really looks interesting. All right, let's take these little small parts out the way here. Don't know what they are, but they're minuscule. I'm not much like the return roller or the uh, for the sprocket. She won't so we get the instructions, there's two of those so far. And then we have a slide, is it slide moulded? No, it's a not yes, it's a slide moulded barrel. So I was wrong with about that thing. So we have the slide moulded barrel, slight seam line down there, but nothing we can't get that yet out. And it's a hollow, obviously being slide moulded. That's nice. Oh, we wouldn't have to think about a uh, aftermarket. That's really quite nice. So there's just a bit of a seam line down the down the edge, but there's nothing that won't clean up. That's a point to that. And then we have a, another large sprue here. Oh, there's black little sprues everywhere. So this is the only downside of uh, mini art is where the bag the stuff. But apart from that, that's the only problem, and I'm, I'm quite happy. And we have the uh, seems to be a bit of. Uh, Interior for the shelves and things to go in, if I'm not mistaken. For the turret, must be a bit, a little bit of interior. And then we have the sponsons on there. A few more hatches and uh, part of the rear de engine deck. Muck guards. Let's turn it over to the other side where all the detail is. Yeah, it looks like part of the uh, the bridge for the gun. A few hatches. That's the um, Obviously the log, we've been rushing. We'll have to see again. I do. I usually have little logs in my garden, but we'll see if it cleans up. Like, and we'll give it a, we'll give it a whirl and see what I come back out of it first. And then we have the, obviously the wooden board as well. Splash water back from the, uh, from the driver if they go on into uh, a river. It just stops that bit of water coming into him. And again, we have. Yeah, I'm sure these. There's the final drive. Sorry, so there must be some sort of a uh, little bit of internal on the on the, uh, on the turret, and then we have the lower of the lower lower of the hull, low hull. And we got nicely detailed again with a bit of a uh, few hatches and this, that, and the other underneath, and no stupid marks where there shouldn't be. It's quite nice again, and there we have the little rings on the end of the uh, for the turret. Obviously, it extends past the uh, the main body of the hull. But it'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, interior it does have. Or I could be mistaken. That's nothing to do with the kit. Maybe just extras. And then again, we have another couple of bits and small pieces. Again, looks like looks like part of the suspension. A couple of grab handles. I'm not sure what they are. Part of the gun bridge, perhaps. Not 100% sure on that one. I say it's going to need me. Definitely going to need me. Uh, me gig goggles on this kit. And then we have another nicely detailed. Oh wow, wow, that is nice. That is nice. The detail on these parts here is really nice and crisp. That is superb. That really is superb. And again on that part as well, and on the hatches as well. Really, really nice. Obviously we've got clear parts to go into the cupola as well. But they're really nice. I do like them. The detail is stunning. And there again on the thing possessed possibly could be uh, the uh, Lotus hatch. I'm not 100% sure until I see it. There again, nicely, nicely detailed with the weld. Uh, sorry, the uh, cast texture on the uh, the ring itself and all the nice bolt heads really really nice that's nice and then we have one two three four four of these sprues which contain the uh, cable tow cable eye and 
some other small bits and pieces, really small clasps and but they are again no flash on them like I can see and they're really nicely detailed even though they're minuscule so you just have to be careful when we cut them off the sprues but uh, if you have a nice decent pair of uh, snippers it shouldn't be a problem right so we're getting somewhere near the end now and we uh, think this must be a part of the engine deck again must be on the front I'm sure until we read the instructions and then we have another running bone and boards again the wooden texture on that one isn't as nice as the other one that's quite plain that one unless it isn't supposed to be wood on that one and then we have some small details again be interesting to see where all these small details go to on the kit when we get round to building it I just showed you that piece well, I'll show you again there's some more pieces, yeah we did didn't we with the uh, part of running gear underneath because I wasn't sure what these parts were so that's another part of that, we'd go with that in fact there's three of those in fact there's four of those no, there isn't there's three and then the last bit of the plastic again we have some more with a low hull again which is really really nice again it's all going to be put together hopefully it shouldn't be a problem some really nice detailed parts on this kit I do like I do like the T55 must have met I do, I do like the uh, partial two bit of Russian armour as they say and there again the, uh, the the detail again on this part on these uh, parts are really stunning they really are crisp fresh and no flash or anything on them especially on these uh, upper hull parts right so that's the end of the plastic so let's have a quick flash through the uh, booklet which is typical mini art booklet glossy on the front is general instructions workable torsion bars all hatches can be posed open and total parts which, which we've seen which we've heard sorry I've said before you probably yeah I've got all the colour call outs for the different variants well the variants for different options uh, operation mode day and operation mode night so we've got the same kit you can do operation mode in day or night doesn't tell me what because it's in Russian I'll tell you and then this one obviously is an Iraqi tank it's the army of Iraq of Iraq, army of the Republic of Iraq war in the Persian Gulf 1991 it's basically a T-55 and then obviously you tried to upgrade it to the Enigma which was not really a success but then we have again we have the uh, army of, of the Lebanese Republic underneath colour call outs and we have colour call outs for Vallejo, Humbrol, Mr. Colour, Testos, Ammo, Mig some of the cart rigs is Russian but I'm sure we can match what we've got I see I use, tend to use a lot of uh, Vallejo and I do Mr. Colour but I usually use them for the uh, base coats tanks and things like that. So so far we've got a lot of options. And then we have the sprue map which can take quite a bit of a, a chunk of the page. Is page is a bit of writing on the top to attention obviously to check you know, the parts. Give you all the uh, numbers and we first start off with the low hole which looks fairly straightforward maybe slightly busy I didn't realise it would work in torsion bars and all this for 12 quid. What a bargain. What a bargain. It should be the right place at the right time. And then we're still working on the low hole. Very low hole. Turn it over now we're starting to put some of the, um, yeah, for the uh, suspension arms getting ready to go on. And then again we're starting to build the side panels, the sides of the tank up with the final transmission and grab handle. Grab handles and all they are, but them rings obviously for the turret uh, the highlight headlights not too sure yeah fairly nicely built you know the uh, instructions are reasonably nice and so there's not too not as busy as I first thought and obviously we're starting on the side again adding more parts to the inside so we do have a bit of internal 
it must be an internal kit as well which I presume um, some of the sprues carried on from another kit but still nice to have that all that nice detail is going to be hidden inside the bloody tank that's the only thing and then we put on the, uh, the sides onto the uh, lower hull and in the back and then we start to build up the uh, engine covers and things like that the headlights for the front all these small bits and pieces it's going to be a, quite an intense build but it looks like a good build and then we have the uh, all that for the headlights to put together and I've got the, the uh, brush guard and then we're starting on the wheels so we won't have to worry about the seam line because this is the way they were on the tanks obviously if they were worn they, would, they wouldn't be on there would they be worn out the rubber but, uh, we shall see it's going to be two options there it's give you a uh, B11 which we've seen and the plain one is where you put the photo wetch over top of it or something I think PB1 or something mm, maybe not just says alternative parts, but I think I'll probably go for the one that looks a bit more wooden than the other one. I'll have to keep a just to check to see what variant I'm going to do and what army it's for. But there again, simple build so far. Obviously, I won't be attaching the wheels at this point. And you've got the sort of the rear of the engine hatches, more wheels. So they'll be all built up, but they won't be put on. Same with the sprockets. And then we start on the rear engine deck with the PE and all that kind of stuff. And the louvers are uh, quite intense, but there again, it, it is clear, the, the instructions are clear. Uh, I just prefer me, te personally, I prefer a line between each section, so you're, uh, you know what I mean. But they're not too bad, or brilliant com compared to some uh, dragon ones that I've built. And then we're carrying on again, we've still got quite a bit of pages left in here. Moppy, and then we're adding it all to the upper deck, and this is all upper deck. We're all the louvers again, and then the PU underneath. So it's going to be really nicely detailed. And then we're starting with the uh, fuel drums, and the sponsons, and all that. And then we're all the PE parts for the uh, mug guards as well. All them bits and pieces to be cut and bent and put on the inside of the mug guards. So we shall see when we get to that point if it's worth me doing inside it. the mud guards depending on what I do with it. And now we're starting off with the uh, boxes and things for the uh, sides of the tank. All fairly straightforward. Shouldn't be any problems there. <coughs> and then we're starting to attach the rear engine hatch there. Um, exhausts, the sponsons on the side and again a few more, I think they're fuel lines there, yeah? them ones that I said I wasn't sure what uh, the twisty ones were, the fuel lines, so it's nice detail again. In there. There's quite a lot, so many, oh, what section are we on now? 30 odd at the moment, about 30 odd. And then back of the tank again where we're doing the fuel drums and the, uh, I look like the, track, the cleaning rods. And again, nice. Nothing to, uh, Stressful, and then we finally start onto the turret. So we do a bit of a breach, I think. Yeah, there we have it in the turret rings and all together, putting the one turret ring inside another, and then the other one into the main turret ring. Starting off with a bit of a breach, and then building up the machine gun. Again, there's a bit of PE on there, uh, a couple of uh, Then, oh, there you are. Oh. Um, if it's, yeah, so there is interior in there because you can see with the uh, that part that goes inside the tool that must be like the, one of the breathing hatches that uh, takes an extractor almost. And then we place in the, uh, the bit of gun breech and the machine gun into the uh, fixed position where you can put the barrel in. And then we Doing the outside, lots of small little bits and pieces again on the front and on the sides of the turret. All the little grab handles, all the bits and pieces on the top. That's quite in depth, that. that uh, 
Use only for day operation mode. Ah, I see. Right. And we're starting to build up some of the cupolas, and they're really nicely detailed as well with all the uh, all these small parts going on to them. It's going to be quite uh, a very very detailed tank. It really is. All these small parts are mainly for the turret. They really are. It's going to take some building. Then we have that roll there for to go on the side. And then we have the canvas cover. And I was right, that part is for the gun. So it's cleverly done if of the seams going to be hidden by the, uh, you know, the cores if you're on the uh, gun muzzle. Canvas cover. And then all that's positioned all together and placed onto the lower. Lower, uh, lower of the turret and we can start with putting the gun on some gun parts at the end which I thought it was a bit of P um, or P a lot of P on there really a lot of P um, we have a small aerial there which is unusual for getting aerial in a kit but we have these are going to have to be read properly, these instructions are thoroughly go through them and obviously we're putting the, um, the turret to the lower hull uh, some other little bits and pieces, the uh, thing for the spotlight which so goes in tandem with the, with the, uh, the turret so we're done. and then we have some more more markings again for the Soviet Army 60s and 70s and the Soviet Army Operation Danube, Prague, Czechoslovakia, 1968. Obviously, you can know that one with the uh, the white cross over it. And then we have uh, Yugoslav People's Army military maneuvers. I would never clue how to pronounce it, but it's in 1971. Uh, and then we have the Army of Republic of India, again, obviously with the uh, yellow spot. There's quite a few, you know, you've got quite a few, and there's even more. We have Syrian Army and Army of Republic of Iraq again in the 80s war. So, and then we have the Armed Forces of the Republic of Angola as well. So we've got quite a lot of um, options, but uh, I shall see when I get to it. But as you can see, it's a really, really involved kit. I'm all for 12 quid. Really, you couldn't believe it. I say, I thought it was a, a mistake, and I thought I would get an email back saying, sorry, that's been put on by mistake but no it wasn't it came straight to me within a couple of days um what else can you say thank you thank you fog models that was a bargain my bargain of the year i think so i'd like to say thank you very much for uh, taking your time out and uh, viewing this uh, unboxing and i'd like to say thank you all to all my subscribers who stuck out with me throughout the year and the new subscribers which are joining I uh, wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas and a really Happy New Year. Uh, but I may just have one more video before Christmas. Hopefully, cross fingers, uh, if I still fail up to it, say with this chest infection, it just tightens my chest up. And once I start coughing, I can't stop. So, as you know, you won't be able to model in coughing. I'd like to get the uh, the diorama finished. But I'll give you a, a sneak peek of the, uh, the T34 so far. So I've got to start on the lower round. Obviously that's going to be weathered to match the uh, to match the uh, the diorama, but it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm just going to put the suspension together now. Whereas the wheels are all ready to be just have to be, just have to be chipped and a couple of chunks out of them on the rubber, and then we can start assembling the lower hull. Uh, sorry, the suspension. So, all right, oh, I've gotten gotten uh, gone away from the subject. So. This is Greg signing off and uh, hope to catch you very very soon.